to the chief musician upon Nabla, a Tindalic ode. I come from fields of fractured ice whose wounds are cured by sneezing. Melting they cool, but in a trice get warm again by freezing. Here, in the frosty air, the sprays with fern-like hoarfrost bristle. Their liquid stars, their watery rays, shoot through the solid crystal. I come from Empyrean fires, from microscopic spaces, where molecules with fierce desire shiver in hot embraces. The atoms clash, the spectra flash, projected on the screen. The double D, magnesium B, the, and the and thallium's living green. We place our eye where these dark rays unite in this dark focus. Right on the source of power we gaze without a screen to cloak us. Then wh where the eye was placed at first, we place a disc of platinum. It glows, it puckers, will it burst, however shall we fly on him. This crystal tube, the electric ray, shows optically clean. No dust or haze within, but stay, all has not yet been seen. What gleams are these of heavenly blue, what air drawn form appearing? What mythic fish that ghost like through the empty spaces steering? I light this sympathetic flame, my faintest wish that answers. I sing it, it sweetly sings, the same it dances with the dancers. I shout, I whistle, clap my hands, and stamp upon the platform. The flame responds to my commands in this form and in that form. What means that thrilling, drilling scream? Protect me to the siren. Her heart is fire, her breath is steam, her larynx is of iron. Sun dart thy beams and tepid streams, rise viewless exhalations, and lap me around that no rude sound may mar my meditations. Here, let me pause these transient facts, these fugitive impressions must be transformed by mental acts to permanent possessions. Then summon up your grasp of mind, your fancy scientific, till sights and sounds with thoughts combined become a th truth prolific. Go to prepare your mental bricks, fetch them from every quarter. From on the sand, your basement fixed with best sensation mortar. The top shall rise to heaven on high or such an elevation that the swift whirl with the which we fly shall conquer gravitation. James Clerk Maxwell. I chose to do a soapstone analysis to approach this poem and analyze it better. For speaker, the speaker seems to be a man or a woman who is very fascinated with science and nature's elements. For occasion, the speaker is presenting everything the world brings with science when it comes to nature and the world's elements. The audience is anyone fascinated with science nature and the world and its elements it has to offer for purpose every part of the world nature and science has its unique traits to make it differ from other elements and things for the subject it's mainly about what science brings to this world and what science can do and how fascinating it can be the tone for this poem uh, for the speaker and the poem would be pretty fascinated and curious at some points of the poem devices the poem is filled with imagery the author utilized imagery in every line and made it where every line makes you visualize what's happening in the poem there was also um some metaphors throughout the poem uh where the author said some things and uh didn't like directly compare it with other things but it was uh pretty obvious